Um, pick me up from the clothing store. Yeah, yeah. Let me grab a car quick. Yeah, yeah. Are you at the block? Yeah. Okay, I'll come. Uh, I'll come scoop you with my car then. Okay. I'm assuming you had a uh, chit chat with SK and stuff, or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had a chat with SK, and he sort of made me realize, and I just want to speak to you a little bit, you know? Okay, I'll come scoop you. What's good, Matt? A lot, one, one moment, sorry. Uh, guys, I'm gonna be off radio for a bit. Um, call me if you need anything important, okay? Yeah, we, me and me and Sparky were kind of just talking a little bit, like about like how me and you always have back and forths, and like, like how how we we talk, and if it's me or if like what the issue is, and like he sort of made me realize. Oh, all of our issues we've ever had, we always end it on like a agree to disagree type beat with our separate ways and that sort of energy and it doesn't feel like we've ever resolved anything. Mm -hmm. Um but that being said, like whenever we argue it's like it's what we always bring up like old stuff and nothing's ever settled, so it's going into conversations in a already bad note. Does does that sort of make sense? Yeah, in a sense, but uh, you always want examples, and that's why, like, old shit is always brought up, no? Hmm, okay. Yeah. Well, what Sparky recommended, and I think could be good for both of us, as long as you're willing to do it, mm -hmm. is me and you, completely fresh slate, we forget any conversation argument we've ever had, and we try and win it, if we if anything ever comes up, we, we take it as that there and then. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, I, th I think it will be, it would help, like, having a fresh slate, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and uh, I've been telling the boys that, you know, I'm proud of uh, the way you've been uh, presenting yourself recently, you know? And, yeah, I I'm trying. you know, and I'm trying. a lot of the other boys have been coming to me and being like, yeah, Matt's actually growing up, this, that, and, like, in in the grand scheme of things, they they see you growing up. And they see that they don't need to treat you a certain way, you know? Because they, yeah. they see you actually growing up and, like, making a change, you know? Because me being completely honest, I do feel like I do get treated di differently. But that, to some sort of degree, will has been self-inflicted to you guys re react to how I, re you know, how I am. So mm -hmm. I'm trying to change that, and I feel like a... A fresh start from the two of us if we ever have an issue we we talk about that one that issue and only that issue would be a, a good start for the both of us you know yeah no one thousand percent that's the thing is it shouldn't be dwelling over the past shit that's why even like when sparky brought up that conversation about oh well in the past we did this i'm like okay but in the present we're gonna be doing this 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 so there's no point in dwelling in the past right yeah yeah no 100 percent yeah. Yeah. I just want to get it to the point where we can have a conversation because, like, I was speaking to Sparky and I am realizing, like, it sometimes does feel like I can't speak to you, but it mm -hmm. shouldn't be like that. And that is probably majority my fault. Yeah, and it's something we work on together, you know? Like, communication is key. And communication yeah. will, you know, like, you said you don't like being treated this way. I, you know, like, and that's something I... It's it's about the respect. If I respect you enough, I will listen to what you're telling me right now. If I have no respect for you, I will I will sit here and pretend that I'm listening and I'll be like, yeah, Matt, this, 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 this. And then two days later, I'll be like, yeah, Matt, you're this, 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 this. So like, I have enough respect for you to actually listen to what you're saying and, you know, go from there because you're we're, we're communicating, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and I if, if, if we can just be get it to the point where I'm not pushed into the the same same group as where Dean was pushed of you never listen because 
I try and listen, you know? Yeah. I and, feel like I just don't deal with things in the best way all the time, you know? Yeah. And in the grand scheme of things, maybe correct me or uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I noticed a lot of influence from Dean too, where like you would even say catchphrases he would say or this or that, or when when Dean would say something, you'd you'd start following suit, you know? So it, it, it did seem like you were going that way. I don't know if it was or not, but that's how it came across to me, you know? I think Dean always took the interesting approach on life and not always the smart approach, mm -hmm. you know? And that's the and thing is sometimes taking the interesting approach is good, but when you take the interesting approach, you gotta also be respectful to the family and um, understand that, you know, as Dean would always say, there's levels to this shit, you know? And I'm not saying I don't want us to take the interesting approach to stuff, as long as we're we're respectful within our own within our own circle, you know? Yeah. And that's like we for for a while there there has been a respect issue and like uh where like certain people only respect certain people and this and that and that's something I want to change and like everyone has the same amount of base respect for each other, you know? Yeah. Like it is bad and I need to work on it. I genuinely feel like Sparky's the only person who gets through to me. Yeah, that's how it has been from day one. Yeah. Yeah, but that's the thing. As long as you're making an effort and you communicate that and we communicate with each other in nations, I feel like we can go a long way, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and no, it's, uh, it's really big of you to come and, you know, have this chat, you know? Well, yeah, no, I thought I thought it should be done when... Because normally our conversations are, I'm always on the back foot trying to defend myself, and mm -hmm. it feels like when I when I'm defending, it just starts the conversations with who's who's right, who's wrong. Yeah. When this conversation should be a very neutral thing, you know. Yeah, and I think um, one thing that would help in conversations is just listening each other, like listening to each other, and being like, oh, okay, like this is why you felt that way, but this is why it's also wrong, doing it from this way, and then we we actually get somewhere, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I appreciate you, you know, having this chat because it shows, it, it shows a lot and it shows, and this is one sign of respect, Matt. You know, like you were saying, I don't really know what respect is, this and that. It's your sign of respect, you know? Yeah, is like is I, communicating. I, when I say this, yeah. I generally don't think I know what respect is. And like, when when we go in like the, the circles of like, when we get, do you know when we have our conversations, we get past the initial problem and then we go into old things mm -hmm. and it's like, you have a respect issue, you don't listen. Yeah. Like, like I'm not saying this in a, I, I intentionally don't listen. Yeah. But that goes in one ear and comes out the other. It's like, I, I don't, like, I don't know, like, how to improve off that, you know? This is, this is one, one major way of improving on it is, you know, you're, yeah. you're being respectful, you're having a conversation. You're not acting like, oh, well, it makes me look like a pussy or this or that. It's no, let's actually work on our problems and we'll have a conversation without having to shit on each other, you know? Like even today with um, with that Salman shit, um, the conversation wasn't, hey, shit on Matt. It's like, hey, okay, we, we did this. I understand this, but let's make sure we're on the same page, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, no. If you ever, if you I ever mean, want I to, think it's just very easy to, like, the the reason I get so defensive in them sorts sort of situations is mm -hmm. like, it's very easy to call out the problem in that situation instead of helping fix it. Yeah, and like it, it's been a it's been an issue for a long time that whenever we're at war, all of a sudden we don't have enough man to go fight it. Oh no, and that's 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 why I've always kind of taken the passive approach because I know how our wars go. It's People are there for the first day, second day, and then after that, nobody's about, you know? But it's not bringing even that, like, I feel like Jay's one of the people that pushes a harder side among them, but I genuinely don't remember last time I fought in a war with them. And I feel like it's very easy to call it out and be like, yeah, you shouldn't be doing that, but it's like, I I'm between a rock and a hard place, bro. Like, I'm either getting shot at by a, a lot of people or. or unfortunately having someone involved that shouldn't be involved you know yeah no i get that and then uh, we're, we're actually making a change like for example 
either this weekend we're getting the high command sorted or uh, Monday we'll have it sorted minimum and after that's done uh, Nunu and Steer are gonna get pulled into the gang um, um, the Horizon and they actually suit the gang uh, we'll see but I also don't want to have like 50 new more members where like T wakes up and it's like a completely different gang or uh, yeah, you know? no, you don't want that. You don't want that. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to do the NBC effect on our own gang, you know? Yeah, the, you, you never want it to be the old mandem, the new mandem, because yeah, it could have very much been like that in Roadman times when we all got brought in, but thank God it didn't, you know? Yeah. What was um, that, what was the last war we? I think that's the thing is uh, sometimes when it comes to war, I think people would rather just watch than actually participate, you know? Yeah. I, I don't have an issue with that, but I feel like calling out people doing on what people are doing in war when yeah. you're not participating is very, like, it's... Yeah. It's just and I, bit, yeah. I, mean. I get that, I get that. The only thing I was upset about is it felt like no one listened to me in that meeting, you know? That's the only thing that actually upset yeah. me. Like, at the end of the day, um... You did what you thought you were, was right in the situation, but in the meeting it was like everyone was like, "Yeah, let's make sure we we don't do that," and then it's like I hear this, you know, which that, isn't that, that problem. Yeah. For example, was very much put on me, and it's like, "Why have you done that, Matt?" But mm -hmm. like, I want the only one there to go. Yeah, Solomon shouldn't be with us. Ved was there. James was there. Steve yeah. was there. Like, oh no, hundred percent. No, nobody thought. Yeah, might maybe Matt, you shouldn't do this. You know, like yeah. No, I told Jay, I'm like, um, why why didn't any of the boys be like, Matt, this is what was said in the meeting, and this, 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 this. And it was brought up that it was you, James, and Ved there, and Ved wasn't at the meeting, and uh, someone deleted the uh, Saints, what's it called, um, note she made for the meeting. So, it was more like, hey, this is, this is what happened, let's make sure when we move on, we make sure that doesn't happen. But... I, I do get it, because half the time, I, I, I do understand where you're coming from. It was, like, you remember when we were wearing Hydra? When we were yeah. wearing the goons? Half the time, I was, it was me and James just pondering around, like, trying to get sneaky we, hits, this and we, that. We so I do, yeah, it's I do, yeah, bro. yeah, especially, like, um, it's easy to complain from the sidelines, you know? Yeah, but that's, that's the thing I want to do, is I want to make sure... We have a gang, and we're we we have this, especially if we want to be big men, you know. In the in the grand, yeah. like I want to make sure we're not trying to achieve something we're not, especially at that moment, you know. Like when when we're going after like the big heads, I want to make sure we're capable of actually going for those big heads and not being like. Because the thing is, we could go to war every day, or we could be f people every day, but being the bluntest. We don't have the facilities for that. You know? Yeah. And that's something that we're working on in a gang. Um, and hopefully it'll improve. But it's something we need to actually like properly work on, you know? And the thing is like... We, we, we function really well. And this gang used to only be like a two, three man gang. Like there was only a couple people within the gang. And the family grew and it grew and it grew and it grew and it grew. Without having that proper structure. And that's what I'm trying to implement now. Where that structure is there. Where there's less weight on my... Because you know how you know what the first hour of my day was today? Oh, Patar, mm -hmm. can I talk to you? Oh, Patar, and this is nothing about... Like, against you, Matt. Um, so don't don't take it all oh, like... Oh, I'm, I'm one of the people that called Patar to the side to have a meeting with him. It was... Oh, can I talk to you, Patar? Oh, can I talk to you, Patar? Oh, can I talk to you, Patar? Oh, can I talk yeah, to you, Patar? It was... Yeah. Uh, can I talk to you... It was Winston, it was this, it was Moses, it was Ved, it was Sparky, it was this, it was that, it was this. Yeah, Everyone was pulling me to a side and it's like, oh, Patar, can, can I talk to you about this, 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 this? And there's nothing wrong with that. I like it when people talk to me, but it's, I'm, I can only do so much as one person, you know? Yeah. And that's one thing I realized and that's why, like, the high command shit is, is happening. That's why, like, Eli is gonna, be, Eli is, I, I, you I know? I really like Eli as starting command. I think he's a good fit. Yeah. So I felt like he... I feel like he's not someone that will. Try I feel like he'll be neutral. To neutral. Yeah. But I feel like certain people would very much be as vocal as they can be to look like they're doing a lot. You know. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, but um, that's the thing is like, at the end of the day, we chit chat with each other, we learn from, you know what, we could have done better, we go from there, you know? Like even for me, yeah. for example, instead of ending this shit, um, we, 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 we probably should have went for more. We probably should have, you know, I learned from, and then we go, we go from there and then we're Gucci, you know? Listen, we got a math lab, uh, not a math, math lab, table. a math table, so yeah. in, my, in my books, bro, a math table and yeah. the money back is 50k, we would only ask for 100, so. Yeah. Yep, exactly. And it's not something we don't need, so. No, and we need that, and Eli's going to be cooking on it, and, uh. We go from there and uh yeah um and if we ever have like family troubles we'll just get together we'll go smoke a gang and we'll take our frustration out on them you know like that's that's one thing i want to see less of is us fighting with each other united you know like remember when me and you wiped pd yeah exactly it wasn't oh well it's my call matt you're wrong it was nah we, I made a call, you made a call. I made a call, you made a call. I made a call, you made a call. I made a call, well, you made a call. We pretty much did that on, like, like majority, that was me and you. Yeah, majority, like, I would say 90% of that was me and you, and then Sparky came and helped us to finish it off, you know? He put like, the, he put the cream on the top. Of us at once. No. And everyone else, like, they went down way too quick, you know? Yeah, I did feel bad for T. Me and T yeah. got rushed. Three of them came for me and three of them went for T. Yeah. I got lucky I survived that. Yeah. Yeah. But that's the thing is um and I, I want I want it to be to a point where we, we can check up uh, like check each other on shit. And realistically the high command is also gonna be something that will even check me, you know? Like if I if if I'm like, eh, maybe this, I'll I'll go chit chat with the high command or they can come and, you know. Talk to me, or even if like you pull me aside on a one-on-one -on -one or this or that, you know, communication is what will help the gang the most, you know. Yeah. Yeah, but um, yeah. Anything you need, Matt, feel free to always chit chat with me. And if we can have conversations like this, where it's just cordial, we're just listening to each other, we're being respectful towards each other. Um, you know, it would be greatly appreciated, and always keep it in mind. And it does show that you're, you're, you're trying and you're learning, you know, and that's yeah, what that's I what felt, matters at like the end of the day. Sparky was right. All of our issues we've ever had, never really got put behind us. We we just agreed to disagree and moved on. Mm -hmm. And like whenever we'd argue, we'd spend, it, it becomes an unconstructive conversation at that point. Yeah, we both we've already agreed to disagree, you know. Yeah, no, one thousand percent. And you know, this this shows a lot, and I. I am proud of you, you know, because it, it takes a lot to actually say something and actually do something, you know? Yeah. So I do yeah. appreciate it, Matt. Is there anything else you want to chat about? Yeah, good. I'm Sounds good. good. Uh, we'll get this wedding ready. Um, we'll finish off uh, Vedzlan. 